Welcome to another edition of Sport Flow Outdoors. I've just arrived in Rolog, Minnesota, about a 200 mile drive uh, in the northwest uh, portion of Minnesota. Uh, there's a big event going on here. It happens every Labor Day weekend and it's been going on for decades. It's the uh, Western Minnesota Steam Threshers Reunion. And really, I, I, to, to put it in a nutshell, to describe this thing, um, I went last year and I was blown away with everything that was going on. And uh, I thought about it and I thought, well, what's going on and demonstrated here and displayed is the, uh, the uh, evolution and revolution of power uh, in, in agriculture and industry. Everything from, you know, looking back to how horsepower was used up through steam, steam power, steam engines, uh, through gasoline, and we're going to see that today. We're going to see actual demonstrations and displays on a grand, grand scale uh, like I've never seen before. Uh, so stay tuned. This is, uh, this is a big event. It's a big deal. And we're going to have a lot of fun looking at all these different pieces of equipment and really just the, the history, the history of, of the utilization of power throughout time. Uh, what's really interesting to me is, is just the innovation. You can see it uh, from step to step, uh, people constantly innovated and made, uh, made uh, tools and equipment uh, and power generation better and better over time. And that's on full display here. So again, stay tuned. This is pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look. So we really did see the evolution of harnessing power from water power. Turning I think it's turning the fan. Okay. I'm turning it to see if I think that's hooked up to the oh, belt fan. I think. Uh, that wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that one. Was it? Yeah. To horse and mule power. and the advent of steam as a power source. We saw steam used to power tractors. <laughs> to power steamrollers. <laughs> we saw steam to power locomotives. We saw steam powered shovels. Not the previous to cast the world, but. We saw steam powering a working sawmill. Well, then all, but you gotta watch out what's going on. They quit lifting it and they honk the horn.
and a machine shop. steam-powered flour mill. Finally, the utilization of petroleum. We saw petroleum used to power engines. tractors. household items. I hate to spend 3000 but 500 How much We saw small engines. Then they'll put another belt up to here, like they run over here, run it down, have another dish app over here on the floor. Yeah, all that for one end. Right. right. Big engines. And all sorts of homemade contraptions. Yeah. All this stuff. Is
demonstrations. Hmm. Happy time, huh? Yeah. Uh, And then there was the parade. type of contraption, large and small, was puffing and chugging and wheeling its way down Main Street. driven by anyone old enough to steer. This parade went on for over an hour. You see this gathering of the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers Reunion is really a lesson, a lesson in history, a lesson in engineering, and lessons in physics. But more importantly, it's a celebration. It's a celebration of human ingenuity, that drive to always want to build things better and get more done. It's also a celebration of family. A gathering of generations getting together to share old stories or maybe show off new pieces of equipment. This event goes on for four days around Labor Day and four days is almost not enough to take it all in. I truly enjoyed my time at the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers reunion. It was great to be with family, my beautiful wife Kelly and her dad George uh, and there's no better tour guide than George uh, he's used half of the equipment we saw there, or maybe even more. Uh, hope to go again. I'd recommend it for everybody. It's the Western Minnesota Steam Threshers Reunion in Rolog, Minnesota, every Labor Day weekend. Until next time, get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks for watching.